For this video, we're going to be doing a breakdown on number 22, running back and linebacker Tristan Werlu, class of 2025 of Carmel High School, highlighted on the screen. But before we dive further into the video, if you like this content, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, please consider joining our Patreon or using the donation links below. Now, going into the video, Tristan is a strong compact player. He's listed at 5'9", 180 pounds. And he's strong. I mean, he's shown the ability, which impressed me, to run through arm tackles, break tackles in the box and out in space. And he has some pretty good straight line speed that when he gets to the second level, he can he has that burst and he has that closing speed to hit big chunk plays. And knowing Carmel, Carmel is a running back by committee usually, but they had some injuries early last season and they needed young players to step up and Tristan stepped in and, and became a steady force for the entire year. Now, things he can work on, I do like his ability to show that he can run in between the tackles and on sweeps, but patience to me is a big one. We see this with a lot of young running backs. Sometimes they want to hit the hole too fast, and they kind of jump the gun or don't follow their blockers to the play that's designed, and sometimes Tristan runs into that. And also, being a more well-rounded back, helping in the pass blocking game as a receiver, I'm excited to see his growth heading forward. Let's go over a couple plays I really liked, and you know this is kind of his bread and butter. When they Carmel goes into overload, and they're running downhill with Tristan, and you're going to see guys pulling down blocks, and Carmel had a very strong offensive line last year, and backs and receivers who blocked pretty well, and you can see this developing. But this is the big play when when Tristan gets one cut and go, he's really difficult to stop when he's got momentum, and even when defensive linemen are coming off of blocks. He shows that strength that he can run through these tackles, right? Look at me. That's running through a defensive tackle, and that's that closing speed, that burst, that he can hit these big chunk plays. So it's not just strength that he runs with, but that ability to break away from the pack. You can see, again, going north and south. Look at him just run through a pretty big defensive lineman. You can see that burst. Or even DBs, you know, they're going to try to cut him down because he shows that strength. He can run through those arm tackles. And again, what I like, Tristan, he did show some versatility. This is in the gun. Okay. You're going to see, again, similar concept. You can get linemen pulling a bunch of down blocks, trying to get good angles for these linemen. But you can see, again, defensive linemen crossing face here, getting off a block. Tristan tries to bounce it to the outside. He feels that pressure on the inside. But this is the strength. Again, really impressive for a young guy to break tackles. Like this, again, really sharp cut. He runs through that defensive tackle. Then he makes a nice little cut there, breaks another tackle. And this play should have been a two to three yard loss. But now look at Tristan go. Again, just running through, guys. And this is, again, it was a sophomore last year, turning something into nothing. And to me, the best backs, in my opinion, the most impressive backs, are show the ability to make that first guy miss, that first defender miss. And that's either whether it's running through him or running around him or making him miss. Whatever way that is, but the best backs are usually the ones that make that first guy miss. And this is again defensive tackle. That first guy, he makes miss. He makes a second guy miss. I mean, then you get to the to the really good backs who can make multiple guys miss at a consistent level. But to me, really strong run right there. Let's go to another one. Again, in the eye, power football, pulling a lineman, using these extra backs as blockers. And again, watch Tristan go. When he gets that one foot cut. He really, look at him, explode through that hole right there, right? Gets his foot, gets north and south, explodes through, and now here's that first defender. Explodes through the hole. Can he make the first defender miss? Tristan did that a lot. Nice spin move there. Showing the speed, creating this into a big chunk play. Again, third down, right? Third and short. It's really important to have a back who can run in between the tackles, explode through the line, nice blocking up front, get to that second level and make a guy miss. And you've seen that with him on tape last year. Let's go to the final play. I mentioned running in between the tackles was something he did well, but he showed that versatility that he can get to the outside. Again, solid speed. This is a pitch play. Getting these receivers out into space, getting these backs blocking at the second level, these linemen moving. Again, really nice blocks right here. Again, highlighting all this. Really good job by the linemen to getting, uh, getting towards the outside on these zone steps. Fullback, really good job meeting the linebacker here. Receiver blocking out on the edge. And now you're giving Tristan some space where he can show his speed. Gets to the outside, but here's the important thing. Here's that first defender, right? First defender coming up. Can he make that guy miss? 
best backs are able to do that, makes that guy miss. Right? In space. So it's not just strength that Christian shows. You saw a little bit of a spin move, a juke right here. Again, getting to the outside. Nice quick juke. Really impressive player. And I'm excited to see his growth because, again, a lot to like. Someone stepping in as a sophomore playing for a very impressive Carmel team last year. Excited to see kind of the increased role he's going to get, how he's improved his game. But a lot to like going forward.